Hey guys, it's Lemmy Orf32 back for the real part 5 because I messed up on the numbers for the parts because I forgot that I made a part 2 and a half. So I called last part part 5 and then one before that part 4, but whatever. So this is the real part 5. Anyway, the next thing we want to do is go over here and talk to these kids. Well, they're going to make you talk to them. You can't get past here unless you give them your sword, which if you had you would be protected against something that's coming up next, so. But just so we can get through this, I'll just give them the sword. Usually I would just tease them and not give, them, give it to them every time, but whatever. This part we're gonna go get Epona back, hopefully. Ah, shut up, Colin, I hate you. I hope you go die in a pit of lava. If there is any lava in this era. <laughs> that right there. See, it's showing that because it's a big mistake that you just did that. <laughs> Alright, let's keep on going. Without a sword. All I have is a slingshot to protect myself now. A useless slingshot. The gate is locked. Nice column. Alright, are the just saying that you can't come in? She's not letting you in. Uh, Colin tells you to go around. There's a crawl space over there. I already knew that was there. I just wanted to show you that's what you were supposed to do. Talk to them. So, just go through here. Hey, there's a rupee in there. Shiny! Alright, go this way. Alright, more cutscenes. Shot down. Pona wants the guy more than you. This is the last time we'll see her for a while, if you know what I'm saying. This is it. After I press this button, a world of pain will come upon everybody but me. Here we go. It's a pig! Oh my god! It's a giant pig with archers on it. Oh! God, that would like kill him. Okay, maybe not kill him, but like cause some serious brain damage at least. And Link is suffering a mild concussion. Oh, this guy. We're gonna have a lot of encounters with this guy fighting him over the course of the game, so... Oh, I wish I had one of those horns. That's awesome. in the game. There's so many cutscenes in the game in this game that I waste all my recording time. <laughs> Do you really think you're going to save all them without a weapon or a horse? Heck, what's wrong with the screen? It's all yellow. <laughs> what is this? What? Okay, I 
gotta stop saying what is this and stuff. I know what's going on. Alright, this guy wall takes you into the twilight. It's a hand that grabs you. I think this is a little too loud. The volume's a little too loud on this TV, I believe. I think that's good. <sighs> so now we're in the twilight. It's one of those guys, ugh. Freaky. What is happening to Link? He's turning into some beast of some sort. Wow, that that's weird. I didn't see that coming, seeing as it's only on the front cover of the game. Just kidding. This cutscene better hurry up, because I really want to start playing. Mysterious figure. God, I keep asking more questions now. Right when I say I'm not gonna do it anymore, I do it more. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, tomorrow's my birthday. I can't wait. I forgot to tell you guys about that. Yesterday was my sister's birthday, which is weird. So today's kind of just that middle day. And we are chained up. We're a prisoner. Criminal. Alright, finally. Alright, as the dog, you can do a dash attack. Well, that's just like run faster like a pona. You can dig up oh, this cut another cutscene. That mysterious figure from before. What is she doing? Is she attacking us? She only has. It only looks like she has one foot. Maybe they're both just little stubs. What do you mean you found us? We're imprisoned. It's not that hard. God, we can't go anywhere, so it's not that hard to find us. Oh, that's too bad. My sister Emily's here. Say hi, Emily. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm recording. Dad. Fine, go away. She just doesn't understand. <laughs> I like how she talks. Like, what is. I can't even understand what she's saying. She just teleported. That is awesome. I wish Link could do that. Okay, so she freed us. And apparently she's going to help us if we get over there. Which isn't hard at all. And after I get over there, I'm probably going to have to cut it because I'm getting low on time. But what you want to do is you want to attack this and dig with Y. And you'll go underneath there. If you find spots like that, you can dig there. I gotta hurry up and cut this. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Alright, so, apparently we're not stupid. Yay. I think I already knew that. She's gonna help us. That's good. Use all the help we can get. We have to do exactly what she says. Press C to call on her. Alright, let's go. Alright, I'm gonna cut it here. So next time on Let's Play Zelda Twilight Princess, we are going to go through this dungeon, I guess. So see you later!